Hello everybody, it's Brent from the Ottawa Capital Gaming Garrison, gearing up for a game of Age of Sigmar, uh, match play, 520 points, just a quick little game here to, uh, to show you guys how Sigmar actually works. It's going to be the Forces of Death over here. We have 10 uh, skeletons. Skeleton okay, yeah. what do we have next to them? Five Black Knights. Alright, and? Two Banshee. Yep. Uh, skeleton Warriors. 10 of them. Yep. Uh, Graveguard. Ten Graveguard. Okay, and over here on the other side, they're going to be going up against goblins. So I'll start over here. I've got a goblin, a Night Goblin Shaman, 20 Night Goblin Archers, five Cave Squigs with two um, Squig Herders. I've got my War Boss with Gigantic Squig there. And then on the other side of the river, I have 20 uh, Stabas with three Nettas. Uh, and sitting over here in reserve, I have a unit of two... Uh, Fanatics to pop out sometime in a charge phase. We're playing uh, Border War, so we have an objective uh, right here in each one of our deployment zones. And then we have our two Cackling with Power objectives along the border. Uh, we've already set up for deployment, and Death finished going first, so Death is going to get uh, the option to go turn one. Philippe, do you want to go first or second? I'm going second. Okay, uh, the general over here for death is? Emily Banshee. And what does she have? She has Ruler of the Night and Cursed Book. And over here we've got my Cave Squig and Big Boss. And he's got Bellowing Tyrant and Battle Brew. And goblins are going to go first for first turn. So I'll start out here with my command phase. My Shaman is going to cast Mystic Shield on the unit of uh, 20 archers here getting it easily, so they have a plus one to their save. My general is going to take a swig of his battle brew to get plus one to hit and wound. And uh, I'm going to put Inspiring Presence, turn one onto the archers, just in case they get charged from those black knights. Okay, I'm going to do my movement, and we'll see where everything ends up. Okay, so everything slowly advanced up the field. I just moved with everything on this side of the field over here. But I did run with my Night Goblin uh, Spearmen, and they're getting close to that objective. They're not quite in range to claim it yet, but they're getting there. So that will end Goblin turn one. I get one point because I control one my one objective. So turn one done, one objective point. We're going to move over and start with death turn one. All right, so I'm going to do my movement, and we're going to be back in a second. Now? What? Alright, so movement is uh, done, these guys moved here, these guys ran over here, uh, the skeletons ran over here, the graveguard ran there, and uh, the banshee also uh, ran there, and uh, she actually, uh, yeah, so that's it. These guys are going to charge. Ooh, Seven inches. Is it half? No, I no. don't think so. It's close, but not no. enough. Eh? No, that's quite a bit. That's more than okay. guys. All right. So I guess this is the end of my turn then. I control this objective and this guy. Yeah. I'm too far from this one. Yeah. So it's three points for death. Three points. And we will roll off for turn two. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> death gets a double turn. All right, it's good. So, uh, Emily is going to, Emily's the Banshee, she's going to put Inspiring Presence on these guys. Um, and I'm going to do my move and we'll be back in a second. All right, so the Black Knight moved over here. They are going to charge a bit later. These guys here ran over there. Emily just did a normal move here. These guys ran. They're deadly slow. These guys moved over here, they're going to charge. So I am going to uh, start by charging uh, the Grave Guard. Okay, well I am going to bring out the unit of fanatics that's hiding in that unit and see how far they go. <laughs> so they get a counter charge here before anything happens. So they're going to go four inches, which should be enough because they start out three inches away, so four inches will be able to get them into combat there easily. 
So these guys are not part of the unit, but they're in there, right? That's correct. They're okay. their own. They're like a, an assassin unit, essentially. Okay, perfect. So, so get, now I can just attack these guys. Yeah, but they strike first. Okay, perfect. And they uh, count as, as a unit? That's correct. Okay, great. So, uh, you go. <laughs> yep. So, they get 2d6 attacks, I think. Yeah, total of 2d6 attacks. So that's going to be 9. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're heavy hitters. Nine attacks. They're hitting on fours here. Ooh. And that is a good roll. Yeah. They're wounding on threes. So that is one, two, three, four, five. At minus two rend. Minus two? Yep. Okay, so their normal save is five. Uh, so they don't get the normal save. However, they're within 10 inch of okay. Emily. Well, each one of these five dice is a D3 damage, so let me just see here. So we're looking at three, five, seven, nine, eleven wounds. Okay. This is going to hurt. I've got the feeling I have uh, one less unit on the board. I hope so. We're looking for five. <laughs> it's not actually not too bad for me. No, no, no. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Okay, so I've lost. Okay, five, dice. five is okay, but still, five sixes out of eleven dice. Yeah, that's pretty darn good. Yeah, it's pretty good. But they just made their points back. Go fanatics. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. So uh, these guys are actually going to go. All right. So the grave guards are. Uh, give me a second here. Okay, so uh, three to hit, three to wound. I'm going to start with uh, these three guys over there on this one. Well, they're the same unit, so you can roll all your dice together. All right, I've been playing too much skirmish. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, so um, total of six attack because I have the Champion. hero there. Yeah. Yep. Okay, all you got to do is wound with two of these. I have no save on these guys. So, 3 to wound, and on a 6, the damage is doubled. Okay. So, 2 wounds at minus 1 round. Okay, they have no saves, so that just kills them. They okay. only have 1 wound each. But, they did what they meant, they, they were there for. Okay, perfect. So, let's go with these guys there. Okay. Charge. They're in. 4 inches, easily gets them in here. I'll help you move them in. Yep. And this guy is going to stay in the back. Sure. Because otherwise, they're out of range. So Out of range for the Deathless Minion save. Absolutely. Yeah. We so pre-measured. They are going to stay a bit at the back. So at the front, I get essentially uh, five attacks because this guy gets two attacks. Four to it, four to wound, no rend. Yep. Okay, um, I have Mystic Shield on them since I haven't gotten my second turn yet. So that brings them up to a four up save because there's over 10 of them. So, nope, one dies. Now the Steeds, they're four and five. One. Okay, one, a four up save. Nope, kills another one. Not so bad. Okay, I'm just going to pile in and then I'll do my attacks. Okay, so the grots have piled in. I have six regular grots in combat in my leader. So the leader is the purple dice. The other ones are the regular ones. Hitting on fives, the purple dice is hitting on a four. Two hits. Uh, wounding on fives because I only have 18 there now. I don't get anything for backstabbing mobs. One wound, no end. All right, so they have, uh, since they have a shield, they have a four up save. Yep. Fail, within range for a uh, deadless minion. I'm looking for a five. Nope. It's not so one takes a wound. Ooh. So, go goblins. This guy here takes a wound. Okay, these guys were, mine were inspiring presents for my first turn. So they don't need to take a battleship or a leadership test, 
And Philippe didn't lose any models, so he doesn't have to take one either. All right. Well, so, I'll lose model here. Oh, that's correct. But the add expired in present someday. That's correct. So, so yep. Yeah. Uh, and that makes it Goblin's turn two. You are now in control of. This one. one is contested. I do not have this one, but I have this one. So that's two more points. Three more points. Okay. Two for the ones on the border, one for the one in the back. Okay. But I only have one, so that's two more points. Right. No, this one counts as two points, and that one counts as an additional oh, two points. Okay, because it's contested. You get three points. Yeah. All right. Six. Yeah, there's twins. <laughs> that's nice. Okay, Goblin's turn two. <laughs> Math is hard. All right, so what I'm going to do right now is my shaman here is going to try and cast uh, Curse of the Bad Moon onto the Black Knights. Um, I'm also going to eat a mushroom, so that makes his casting better. Um, on a two up, I add two to my roll. If I roll a one though, then I'm hallucinating and can't do anything this turn. Okay, six, so I get it. So, Curse of the Bad Moon has a casting value of 8, so I need a 6 on the dice. Okay, I get it. Uh, I cast it on these guys, the Black Knights, so they take D3 Mortal Wounds. So that'll be 3. Dead last minion. Yep. Looking for 5s. 2 5s. 1 1. So okay. this guy is that. And there's no other unit within six inches of them for Curse of the Bad Moon to continue on to. So that will be it for that. Um, my leader is going to cast, or not cast, but do his command ability, which is called, I'm the boss now, stab him good. And he's gonna do that onto himself. It basically doubles their damage on any wounds inflicted. And uh, I'm also gonna take a swig of the battle brew. Again, so just one swig though, so that puts him uh, plus one to hit and wound, and he's going to get ready for some mayhem. That's uh, oh right, this turn my squig, uh, my squig herders are going to poke the squigs and get them all riled up for a fight, and then we're going to come back after I do my movement, and I'll show you where everything is moved to. Okay, so I've done my moving. Uh, just want to let everyone know that our house rule for the river is half movement. So my squigs are bobbing along in that river there. My guard, my um, poking spear is moved up to get close to that objective. Over here, my war boss moved. My shaman didn't. I'm going to keep him hidden. Uh, and the guys that were in combat stayed in combat. We're going to do some shooting now. We got 16 shots, or sorry, 18 shots from these guys. And I'm going to fire them all into the Black Knights and see what I can do. So, there are fives and fives, uh, the, but the purple dice is hitting on a four for the leader. So, let's see here. Uh, oh, that's actually pretty good for goblins. So, four. I got four hits. Uh, fives to wound. Uh, one wound onto the black knights. Four up. Which is best. Okay. Now my goblin war boss has the moon prodder, and he's going to shoot that into them as well. It's a d6 attacks. So a five. Now normally it hits on a four, but because he's had battle brew, that takes it down to three. That's three. Uh, now three hits, wounding normally on threes, but because of battle brew, wounding on twos. Uh, of course, one. Is there a rend? Minus one rend. Minus I, one? I picture this guy shooting like a Sailor Moon one. So we're looking at five up here, which has oh. failed. We're looking at five up for that last minion, which is bad. Oh, of course. <laughs> okay, uh, charges. There's going to be two charges this turn. Uh, no, because the squigs are in there. Hey, Brent, we forgot something huge at the end of my turn earlier. Oh yeah, still, uh, Philip didn't control an objective, so he is now at five points. Oh, we forgot something else. Oh, what else did we forget? I'm a dead player, man. Oh, you get stuff back? Yeah. All right, well, you forgot it, so let's move on. <laughs> okay, go ahead, see how many, see how many come back. Okay, so uh, basically, uh, these guys get D3 back, so they get one back. <laughs> Thank you for that, Brent. And uh, the Grave Guards uh, essentially get uh, D3 back. 
That would be That's one a guy. one. That's good. I like that. So, all, all right. right. Sorry for that, guys. Uh, I'm being a bit uh, stupid tonight. As you can see, I'm having a hard time finding numbers on dices. So. All right. Well, I mean, yeah, it's just death players, of course. All right. So my war boss is going to charge. <clears throat> 10 inches. That's enough to get him up and around in here. Oh, oh no! Malfunction, malfunction. Okay, we're just going to pretend they're yep. side by side there. Let's move him. Uh, can we do that? Do, 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 do. Oh, okay, okay. We do. we'll get him on there. And over here, the Pokemon Spears. They go 7, so they're going to get into combat. So I will do my pile ins and then come back. Okay, so I've done all my piling in from charges. I got most of my spearmen in there. Uh, moved up the archers a little bit, and the war boss over here who had an untimely accident and lost his arm, but he's still uh, gonna fight. And he's actually gonna start first. So he gets four attacks to start with his moon prodder. They are threes to hit. Okay, two hits. They are twos to wound. So that's two wounds and minus one rent. So we're looking at a five up. Is that your dice or mine? That's no, yours. Okay. We're looking at five ups. One save. Uh, another five up for that last minion. Yep. One gets one wound. Okay. Now, my squig. And I forgot that I'm doing the I'm the boss now stab him good. So the, the squig. Hits on threes, wounds on twos, fives and sixes uh, do down to one, which means he gets uh, d6 damage instead of d3. But it's actually going to be two d6 because it works with the command ability. I'm the boss and I stab him good. So fives and sixes will do two d6 damage on wounds. So threes to hit. Uh, three hits, twos to wound, two wounds. And that one of them is 2d6 damage, <laughs> and one of them is just uh, d3. Minus one round? Minus one round. So we're looking at five up? Well, roll them separately, because you got the big one that's going to do 2d6 damage. Okay, so this is the big one? Okay, come on. Save. Stop. The other one? Not save. Okay, so it's minion. d3 damage. So one. Not save. Got one guy there. Again. Yeah, he's going to return. Yeah, I know, because... <laughs> yeah. Alright. I don't so, know why I play this game. <laughs> uh, this guy is going to pile in just a bit here, and he's still in range, and he's in range to it now. So, the whole uh, unit is going to give it a go. That will be five dice. We're looking at four to it, four to wound. Wow. One. one. Okay. Um, I didn't cast Mystic Shield on them, so it was only a five up save this time. Nope, that's one dead archer right here. Going for the steed. That's four and five. Nothing. Good. So uh, I'm going to not strike back with them, but I'm going to move over here and strike with my spearmen who have three uh, netters in the group that are within range. So I'll roll those first. So we've got nine attacks from them. So those are hitting on fours. It's actually not a bad roll. And wounding on fives. So it's two wounds from just the netters. Any rend? Nope. Okay, so we're looking at a five up save. No, five up that last minion. Oh, <laughs> All right. right, there are fifth. Well, that's only part of the unit. Okay, sorry. There I are fif you fifteen token spears that are going to be hitting on fives. Uh, one, two, three, and wounding on fours. Uh, wounding on threes actually because of the numbers. So that's three wounds, both time, no rend. No rend? Nope. So we're looking at five ups, deathless minion, 
Okay. One guy Kill goes. one. Thank God. Okay. My turn? Yep. Okay, so earlier I actually uh, didn't play too well with these guys. They actually have two attacks each, not one. Sorry. So and I've got one who has three attack. So we're looking at three to it, three to wound. Now the sixes will do double damage. So is there is, any rend? This is minus one rend. Okay. So these are the two that will do double damage. I yep. need sixes. Nope. Okay. So that kills four. And how many others? Five for the others. Five for the others. So that's one. So I'm going to lose a total of eight goblins. Oh, that's not going to be good. All right, so that's eight dead goblins. That brings them down to 12. And I'm going to go back over here and strike with these guys. Um, they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in combat now. All right, so nine attacks, hitting on fives. That's two, three, actually. Ooh, wounding on fives. Now uh, for one, one wound. One wound? One wound on those All black right. knights. So four up. Deathless minion for five up. No. Oh. So this guy on the top has one wound left. OK. Uh, now, so that is the end of my phase. I have a battle shock to take over here. Uh, the goblins have a bravery of four, I believe. Give it a second. Islands. I'm not done. Oh, you're These not done. These guys here can pile in. Ah, right. So. And they have a longer range. Because of the lance. Yep. So. Spear though. Uh, lance spear. is our horseman. Yeah, I'm French now. <laughs> so let's. One, two. Okay, so basically there's seven guys yep. that are within range. Uh, they need five plus to it. They have servant death, which gives them, give them plus one to it, but you have netters, right? Yep. Okay, so basically. They go to their normal five up. Yep. That is one. Four to wound. One wound. One wound. One okay, wound. so five up save, no red. Nope, kills another one. Uh, we didn't need that. We did not need that at all. Okay, so we have now lost nine guys in that unit. Bravery of four, uh, but it's actually bravery of five because I'm over ten. So it's going to be four plus whatever I roll on this dice. Two, six, uh, yeah, okay, that <clears throat> sucks a lot. Three, four, five. Uh, and the musician's like nuts to this. So that's six. So that leaves me with what, four guys? Four guys, five guys left in that unit. All right, that's uh, the end of your turn? That's the end of my turn. Rule for next turn? Yeah. I right. really need that. Yeah, me, you and me both. <laughs> Five. Four. Bam. All right, so we're going to go again here. We're going to pretty much do exactly the same thing that we did. Uh, the Shaman is just going to cast Arcane Bolt, though, because there's no other units within six inches of the Black Knights. So uh, no Mushroom this time. Need a five. So get a six. D3 Mortal Wounds. One. <laughs> nope, you gotta save. Oh, yeah, true. I have the dead last minion save. Sorry for that. Five up. No. Okay, now you can take them off there. Alright. Uh, my war boss is going to do the same thing he did in, uh, earlier, and that's cast uh, I'm the boss, now stab him good on himself. And he is going to take one swig of his battle brew. 
the herders are going to herd the squigs and I'm going to do some movement and I will be right back. Okay, so I've completed all my movement. My shaman moved up. Uh, my squigs crossed the river and they have a banshee in their sights. And my war boss moved in between the uh, skeletons and the black riders. So we're going to do some shooting now. My war boss is going to fire into the black riders. D6 shots with a sailor moon wand. Three. Hitting on threes. It's three hits. Wounding on twos. And I for keep forgetting that I'm the boss and I stab him good works on this too, so uh, fives and sixes will do two damage each. Nope. But three wounds at minus one rend. Okay, so we're looking at fives. Five up for that last minion. Talk, oh, come on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <clears throat> So I've got 16 shots from the uh, Night Goblins there. They're going to go into the Black Riders too, or Black Knights, whatever. i got Lord of the Rings on the brain. 13. So 16 shots. Uh, oh, where's my leader dice? There it is. So hitting on fives, except the leader is hitting on a four. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. The goblins are mad. Winning on fives. Uh, two. Hey, I'll take two. Four up? Yep. Ooh. Yeah. Deathless minion? Oh. Yeah, we killed one. Damn. One guy's gone. It's going to be this guy. Ooh, we're in trouble here. All right, so these guys are going to uh, attack. No, no, that was my shooting phase. Oh, sorry. I saw my changes. I, I'm way off tonight. It's ridiculous. That's okay. We all have those nights. Yeah. My squigs are going to charge yep. into Emily. Let's see what I can roll here. They have a plus one to their charge because of the herders. Five will not do it. Even six inches is not enough, I don't think. And, yeah. Yeah, that stinks. Okay, my war boss, he's gonna have to go back into the uh, Black Riders then. So, he gets a six, that's easy enough to make a charge. And he's in there. Um, well, that's it for charges. I'm gonna strike with him first. Four attacks, threes to hit, twos to wound. And that's two wounds minus one rend. We're looking for five ups. There's one dead. I do not have a deathless minion anymore because I'm out oh, of range. Oh, right, right. <clears throat> okay, shoot, I should have really just put him into the skeleton zone. That was a tactical genius, a Ray Cassidy, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, now my squig, four attacks here, hitting on threes. Okay, three hits, that's good. Wounding on twos, fives and sixes, do 2d6 damage. Ah, nothing. Okay, but still, three at minus one rend. Um, do you get a save? Three damage? Uh, three hits at yep. minus one rent. Five up. Yep. He is gone, and this yeah. unit <clears throat> is no longer on the board. Yay. <clears throat> That's the most death I've killed, I think, since... I don't know when. Yep. And I understand that that's an oxymoron. Okay, so you get to go over here. Yep. Uh, so I'm going with uh, the Grave Guards. First, there is... One, two, three, four, five left. They all have two attacks, and there's one guy who's got three. We're looking at three to hit, three to wound. That's a lot of attacks. Ooh. Yay, goblins. All right, so that is four. But six oh, sorry, is, the yeah. six is double damage. Okay, and it's minus one or end? Yes. And I get no save because I'm under uh, 10 models, I don't get a grot shield. So that just wipes the unit, I guess. Alright, so that's, so that's five guys uh, dead. It's, it's the whole unit wiped out there. Oh, that's great. Just gone. Uh, and that's, uh, that's my turn because there's nothing else in combat anymore. 
We forgot something for the last two turns. What's that? We forgot. Actually, we forgot to add your points for the last two turns. I had no points. Oh, really? Because I had nothing in the back. And, okay. All uh, right. I don't contest. Uh, well, I contest this one, but yeah. you have more models than I do. And okay. There, I have nothing anymore. All right. So, yeah. So, going to that turn three. Turn three. Perfect. So. These guys are returning D3 models yep. because it's my hero fight. Two. So, two come back. I wonder if in the uh, General's Handbook something will change with the death there. I wonder if they'll get more models back or not with the General's Handbook too. I'm interested to find out. Emily's going to put uh, Inspiring Presence on the Spearman's here. Okay. Uh, and uh, I'll do my move, and we'll be back in a second. Sure. All right, so uh, the Horde, if we can call it 500-point army a Horde, uh, is moving forward. Uh, Emily is in range for Ghostly Howl on the Squigs, and I really, really don't want to fight them. So they have a bravery of three. Uh, everything that's above, uh, th those two dice are going to get added. Uh, everything that's above three is going to do mortal wounds. Yeah. That would be seven. <laughs> so that's four. four. Four mortal wounds. So that is two poor squigs. Oh, gone. All they right. didn't even have a chance, man. Those poor mushrooms. So these guys are going to charge into the squigs. That's the skeletons. Yeah, the skeletons. These skeletons are also going to charge into this guy. Bring it I'm on. I'm going to roll for these right now. Okay. Make it? Yep, and these guys. These guys, they make it. Okay. We're going to do the move off camera and we'll be back. Alright, so we're going to start with this combat here. They are within 18 inch of the uh, dead hero, so they're going to hit on 3 and wound on 4. That was not so good. Looking for 4. 1. Any rend? Nope. Five up safe. Nope. So he takes a wound. He's down to three wounds. All right. Um, I'm going to go next with the squigs. Because why not? They are over here with a horde of zombies. Or whatever they are. They have three attacks. Well, one attack each, but three of them are in combat. Uh, they've been prodded, so they're hitting on fours, wounding on threes. So that's two hits, wounding on threes. That's two wounds, minus one rend, d3 damage apiece. Two wounds? Yeah. We're looking for sixes. Oh, come one on. Save. Okay, uh, d3 damage for the other one. One. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> uh, that was minions, five up. <laughs> That's a six. If you <laughs> I hate dice. All right. All right. Go ahead, kill Coming him. here, uh, everybody is within range except for two guys, so that means eight plus one. I hope you don't kill any of them. Then they run away yeah. and then hurt you when they run. <laughs> so we're looking at, because they're uh, within 18 inch of uh, the Banshee, we're looking at four to it, four to wound. All right. Yeah, I hate you already. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Okay, two, two, two okay. Not too bad. I got uh, squid tough armor here, so six up. Nothing, so that's one dead. Look, so he comes off. Uh, the next, I'm gonna pile in with these guys who are within three inches. Yeah, and they've got terrible attacks. But I have to roll them separately because they're totally different. So the Noisemaker gets two attacks, hitting on fives. Nada. The other guy gets one attack, hitting on five. Nothing. And you don't have any more combats. No. I still have my big guy here. So he gets his four attacks. Four to hit, or two, three is to hit, two is to wound. So that is three hits. Two is to wound. Three wounds. Um, one, both of these are double damage because of the command ability. Yeah. So this one is just uh, minus one rend, one damage, and these okay. are minus one rend, two damage. Okay, let's start with the two at the back. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for a six. Of course. 
this one? Yep. Looking for six. Okay, so this one goes true. Yep. Going to get less minion this guy. Five up. Okay, Obviously. And you had two from this. Okay. Five up. Come on. <laughs> Alright, so now the squid gets to attack. Uh, okay, this guy has killed a bloodthirster. And a demon prince. And a phoenix. Come on, let's do this. Alright, uh, three's to hit. One miss. Two's to wound. Fives and sixes do 2d6 damage. Ooh. Okay, one does 2d6 damage, one does. Is there a two, three. There's one. One? So we're looking at six there. Alright, so which one's this? The first one. Okay. Well, that, that one. Okay, is the so first and one then the 2d6 side. damage? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that less minion for the first one. Well, hold on. You'll just, you'll just add it to whatever okay. this number is. Oh, they are. Okay. So nine, so ten deathless mm -hmm. minion saves. That's not going to be good. Looking for five ups? Yep. Oh, come on! Okay. Five. So six guys are dead. Okay, six. Okay. That's not so bad. Still. Two. We should have saved four of them. But you can run away. You can lose some more. Yeah, I could run away. Yep. Okay. We're going to find out right now. Yep. Battle shock. Battle shock here. So I have bravery of 10, but I lost six models. That's 10. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to my turn. Well, hold on. I still have a, I have a battle shock for the squigs. Oh, yeah. So they lost three. They have a bravery of three, so it's this number. So two. Two of them run away. Now on a uh, four plus, they do mortal wounds to an enemy unit. Okay, so one of them hits you and does a mortal wound to your skeletons on the way out. Five up that last minion. <laughs> it's not even fun. I succeed all of them. It's ridiculous. Uh. It's ridiculous. Okay, to all, everyone in the Death Grand Alliance page, that's like... Oh, GW Shaft's death, they're so underpowered. Yeah, okay. That is probably <laughs> one of the most powerful army right now. I agree. Okay, so uh, beginning of my turn. So, Emily is going to put uh, Inspiring Presence on these guys. These guys, the unit is not currently full, and the bearer is there, so they get D3 model back. That would be one guy. And these guys get D6 model back. Ugh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> yep, not powerful army at all, guys. Yep. All right. Okay. So, I do have a question for you, Brent. Sure. What's the bravery of this guy? Uh, his bravery is five. Bravery is five? Yeah. Okay, I like that. So, uh, I'm going to move a single unit. Emily is coming right here. Going to shooting phase. She's going to do her ghostly all yep. on this guy. Anything above a five. Oh, <laughs> double six. Well, there goes my general. <laughs> uh, okay. No laughing on the side of the table. So, these guys are going to charge? Sure. I'm going to overwatch. <laughs> yeah, make it. get in. All right, we're going to move uh, these guys off camera and be back in a second. You sure you don't want to charge? Oh, they're already there. They're already there. All right, sounds good. All right. Okay, so going to start over here. Uh, there's nine guy and the uh, champion is there. Uh, they're within 18 inch of Emily, so they are going to have a three to it, four to wound. Right now, looking for fours. Four wound. No rend, right? No rend. Okay, I still have enough to get the five up save. So I kill. I lose two. Essentially, I feel like I'm killing these poor goblins. They just want to get along and eat mushrooms. Okay. Yeah. okay. Right. Uh, so I'm gonna go over here in this combat, and I'm gonna do the noisemaker hitting on fives. Nothing. I'm gonna do the. Poke and Spear, hitting on fives. No! 
It is your turn, Philippe. All right. So these guys, uh, basically everyone's except two guys. So it's going to be eight plus one. They are hitting on four. Now looking to wound on four. That is three wound. No rend. No rend. Okay, three six up saves. That's both of them are dead. Okay, um, I'm gonna pile in here. Do, do, do. Move up, move up, move up. So I'm gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, nine guys in. My leader is not in. So just nine regular attacks with some slitters. Hang on fives. Oh, there we go, three hits, not bad. Wounding on fives. Two wounds. Two wounds? Yep. We're looking at a five up save. And five up that last minion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it for me. There, um, I don't take a battle shot test because I didn't lose enough. And you don't have to take a battle shock test. It's the end of your turn. Uh, you're going to get more points for that. It's actually a roll for a turn now. Yeah, but you got to add your points. So you're going to get two points for that. Yeah, I already did. Oh, I already did, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, roll for a turn four. 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 Ooh. Three. Four. All right. That's good. This will be game right here this turn. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, so uh, Emily is going to move just a little bit. Ghostly all on your goblins. What's their bravery? Four. Four. Uh, that will be two mortal wounds. Now uh, the other guys there are going to um, attack. One has to attack. We're looking at four to it. Four to wound. Wow. Okay. That's four wounds. All right, four wounds hitting our five plus save. That's four more dead. Two, three, four, five. Or four, sorry. All right. Uh, so they're gonna strike back. We're gonna pile in like so. We're going to get everybody in there this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of them. So nine hits, or nine, nine attacks, hitting on fives. Two, three, four, wounding on fives. Uh, one. Two. Two, sorry. All right, no rend. No rend. Five up. Five up that last minion. Oh, Ooh, kill two. Oh. <clears throat> going out you know what? blaze of glory. They're coming back. So I lost six. Uh, I have a bravery of four. So it's two plus whatever this number is for my bravery here. Two plus four, six. Six more go. So that's going to pretty much deplete the whole unit almost. Yeah, just the command is left. <laughs> that's not good. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm left with at the beginning of my turn four. I think we're just gonna call it here, guys. It's uh, it's gonna be a tabling of the goblins. So, Death really wanted those uh, borderland objectives, and they really got them. Deathless minion save is hard. I should have killed Emily right off the bat. I should have just sunk every shooting attack and magic I had into her. But where's the fun in that? Yeah, exactly. So yeah, that's it. Death wins another. Ottawa Capital Gaming Garrison Battle Report. Uh, what are your thoughts on it, Philippe? Um, well, my thoughts are simple. Everybody that says that is bad uh, must be doing something wrong. Because yeah. I swear to God, I don't think I've ever lost a game with my dead army. No. Nope. I think I've lost one skirmish game with the dead army. Skeleton spam or zombie scam, spam or ghoul spam is the way to go. Yeah, so everybody says that is bad. Uh, needs to learn about ghoul herbs the night. Yep. All right, guys, uh, this is Brent Philippe out for the Ottawa Capital Gaming Garrison. Uh, like us on Facebook, 
or find us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and let us know what you guys want to see next. Thanks a lot. See you guys.